Some fashion trends come and go, but there are certain items that have stood the test of time and changed the world while doing so. Miniskirt. The swinging 60s brought new, risky fashions to a rebellious youth culture, and the miniskirt was the pinnacle. London-based designer Mary Quant brought the miniskirt to her country, naming the super short skirt after her favorite car, the Mini Cooper. She called both optimistic, exuberant, young, and flirty. But a French designer called André Courage could also claim to be the inventor of the mini. Regardless of who's behind the iconic garment, it caused concern, particularly in some African countries which banned the skirt. Brazier. American Vogue used the word brazier for the first time in 1907. In 1914, New York socialite Mary Phelps Jacob was granted a patent for the modern bra, which was made from two handkerchiefs and a pink ribbon. The popularity of the corset declined during World War I, and by the 1920s, women favored a bandeau-style bra with discernible cups. The first padded bra was unveiled in 1947, and the first push-up bra, Wonder Bra, came to market in 1955. Feminists burned their bras in the 1960s, but brands like Victoria's Secret have made them more popular than ever. Trench coat. Today, when you think of trench coats, you think of exquisite, expensive numbers. And it's no wonder we think of Burberry and Aquascutum as the main players in this market. In 1853, Aquascutum's John Emery developed a water-repellent fabric to create his wrappers. And then, in 1879, Thomas Burberry invented the waterproof fabric Garbadine to make his coats. And the British military called these designers to dress their officers during World War I, which is where the iconic garment gained its name. The trenches of World War I's muddy, and bloody battlefields. Hosiery. Although it's mainly women who wear hosiery these days, go back hundreds of years and it was men who wore knitted stockings. Once they switched to trousers and breeches in the 1800s, women made their move on stockings. Silk varieties were reserved for the rich, and it wasn't until the synthetic yarns in the 1920s that sheer stockings became more affordable. The introduction of nylon in the 1940s made the stocking market explode. Lycra was added in the 1950s, and holdups in the 1960s meant suspender belts were no longer necessary. Sunglasses. Sunglasses might seem like a modern invention, but they actually date all the way back to 12th century China. They wore smoked quartz slabs across their eyes to block out sunlight. These early shades didn't protect against UV rays, nor were they vision corrected. That didn't happen until 1430, when the Chinese introduced darkened vision corrected glasses to Italy. It took until the 1920s for sunglasses to become popular in the US, and then that classic aviator style was born in the late 1930s, thanks to Ray-Ban's polarized lens technology. Flip-flops. Plastic flip-flops feel so totally modern, but thong sandals date back to ancient times and featured in Egyptian murals from 4000 BC. Various cultures across the world made them, using different natural materials like papyrus, palm leaves, rawhide, wood, and rice straw. The kind we know today became popular in the US when World War II soldiers brought Japanese zori home. Bright colors were introduced in the 1950s. Then, in 1962, Alpargatas brought out their version in Brazil, and Javianas is now one of the best-known flip-flops brands in the world. Bikini French engineer Louis Riard invented the daring bikini in 1946. Back in the 1930s, European women were wearing a more modest, two-piece bathing suit version with high waist shorts and a halter top. It wasn't until the rationing of fabric in World War II that the two-piece made an appearance in the U.S. The liberated mood of the end of the war saw bikinis become popular across European beaches, but they were actually banned in countries like Italy for being immodest. The style didn't become wildly popular in America until the early 1960s after Marilyn Monroe led the way. Denim jeans. The material denim comes from the French town Nimes. De Nimes became denim. And the word jeans comes from the French phrase bleu de jeans, the blue of Genoa. This was because Genoese sailors wore jeans back in the 1500s. But it wasn't until the 1870s gold rush that denim became a big deal. Levi Strauss originally made workman's pants with rivets from hemp. Popular with Californian miners, Strauss changed the material to the Nimes cloth, and denim was born. Denim jeans gained cult status thanks to the movie star stars of the 1950s. Little Black Dress The Little Black Dress is such a staple it's hard to believe there was a time when it wasn't an essential item in every woman's closet. But before the 1920s, women only wore black when in mourning. The one and only Coco Chanel changed all that though with her LBD. Vogue magazine published a sketch in 1926 and that was it. The fashion designer's brainchild was known as Chanel's Ford. Because like the Ford Model T, it was accessible to all social classes. High Heels 
High heels weren't originally designed for women, or to walk around in for that matter. They were worn by horse-riding soldiers in Persia, modern-day Iran, because the heel helped them stand in their stirrups and shoot their bows and arrows. Aristocrats in the 17th century Europe took on the Persian shoe craze, and their heels got higher as a status symbol. Then, women started wearing them as a way to look more masculine. They fell out of fashion until the 19th century, when pornographers started photographing women in heels. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and show your support by giving this video a thumbs up.